Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an English placement quiz and its result page using the Quiz and Survey Master plugin. In order for us to create our English quiz, I have created a dummy WordPress website using InstaWP. It's one of the finest platforms to create disposable WordPress websites to test your ideas and tools for free. Here, you can create a disposable and quick WordPress website in no time. So let's dive into this. I have already installed the QSM plugin on my website. To see how to install the QSM plugin on your website, click on the information card in the top right corner of this video. Let's start by creating the quiz. The first step is to hover over QSM and then click on Quizzes or Surveys. Once you click on Create a Quiz or Survey, the first thing we see is to select a theme for the quiz. QSM is a collection of stunning themes, but for now, let's go with the default theme and click on Next. Next is of course on the quiz setting, we get an option to set up our quiz initially. Let's set a name for the quiz and select what kind of form we are using. You could fix a set time limit to your quizzes also. You could also set or select if you want only logged in users to be able to fill in the form. The fourth step is now comes the add-on section, where we get to see the most used or popular add-ons of QSM. You could select any add-ons as per your requirements to add more features to your forms, quizzes, and surveys. Currently, we don't need any add-ons, so let's click on Create Quiz. Lastly, here comes the Questions tab, where we can enter our questions for the English quiz. And let's enter the questions for our quiz. Let's select the first one to find out how good a user's English really is. You can use a description box to write some additional information if required. After entering the question, on the right hand side, you can choose a type of question and answer from the drop down. I am taking the multiple choice type question here and writing three choices and giving them points also to evaluate the quiz. And if you want, you can mark the question as required so this question can't be skipped. Then click on Save Question. Since our first question is saved, let's create the second page to write our questions. For this question, we will be selecting the multiple choice type question and writing answer choices with respective points. Once you've filled in the question, click on Save Question. Now let's create a third question on the same page and repeat the process as previously. Save the question. Again, let's create the fourth question on the next page and then save the question. Now all the questions are saved. Let's set up a contact field to collect the name of the applicants. Click on Add New Field. Let's select the field type as a small open answer and label it as Name. Let's select the Use For section and select Name there. Now since our question for the quiz is set and the contact field is configured to collect the user details, let's set our final result page for the quiz as per the score. So go to the Result Pages tab. Here you can set conditions as per you when this page should be shown. Now we have to design the final result page that we have to show people. So. Enter the message and take different variables from these templates. I am taking the total point score variable to put in my message. As this is the English placement quiz based on scores, keep this question answer variable as it is so that users can see the correct answers. Lastly, save the result pages changes here. Now let's preview our English quiz by clicking on the preview icon at the top right corner of the page. As you can see, we have created the quiz successfully with all the questions and it's working wonderfully. Also, you can see the timer running on the rightmost bottom of the page. And that's all for this video. Stay tuned for new tutorials. Until next time, bye bye, stay safe. <laughs>